Hello viewers, it's Cynthia Michael for Screen View, bringing you a new podcast on my segment called, <laughs> called The Super Sentai Review. And like always, I'm going to speak very loudly, very clearly, and very slowly, in case you don't understand me. Also, also I'm going to try to do my best not to breach your heart during this audio podcast recording as well, not to cause the audio feedback as well. And finally, if you're under 18, this audio podcast recording will take in terms of language. Once again, if you're under 18, this audio podcast recording will attain her adult language. If you're, if you're under 18. Now, if you're over 18, that means you're good to watch this audio podcast recording. So anyway, so anyway, let's get to this episode of Kill Major. So basically, we see, so basically, this episode starts off at Care Headquarters. We see Mayu and President Marcena, you know, at the headquarters. So basically, Takamichi and Juru get in the headquarters. So basically, so basically, Mayu and Marcena was like, you know, hey, where are the others? So basically, they busy at work. So basically, like, you know, you know, the other kill majors were busy at work. So basically, so basically, you know, Juru, like, Juru, noticed the hangar area where all the kill majors stole George were at, and the, uh, only the five lane kid may stones were in the hangar. So basically, like, you know, where are the other kid may stones? So basically, tell us that Zabu and the, uh, and the other kid may stones are in, you know, are in anime, basically the second crystal homeworld, you know, visiting, you know, visiting and helping out there. So basically, all the other kid may stones George went to Ammon to go, you know, to help out, uh, the, to help out there, and, you know, and to visit. Only the five made camera stones were there, and so basically, like, you know, so, so basically, like, you know, they figured, like, you know, Jewel and Takamichi figured that, you know, maybe, you know, so maybe that, uh, was hoping that, that, uh, that they, uh, you know, hoping that what will happen today, because they're so handed. But, the alarm went off, so basically, my well, my used to use the Kimmy arrow to summon the king and the Hakabu to take down this to take down this this mark, big monster that just showed up. But you know, but Takamichi, but Takamichi, uh, Takamichi and the other Kimmy Stone suggested that you know we could take down this monster by ourselves. So basically, like you know, we can't. We can't always, you know, summon the kings to fight all our battles for us. So basically, Takamichi, so, so basically, Takamichi transformed into a stone form and combined with the, and combined and formed the Kimmy, uh, and formed the Jordan, uh, the Jordan Megazord, and, uh, and Jordan used to uh, combine all the other Kimmy stuff, uh, the other, you know, combine the five leg Kimmy stones into the Kimmy Megazord, and they would to go fight the monster. So basically, this year, this Mark Beast monster had a had two heads. One, one with a, each head. Each of these two heads had a screen on it. Well, it turns out this monster has the ability to one head has the ability to make things grow. The other head has the ability to make things shrink. So basically, it turns out. And it turns out the Mark Beast Monster made, made the Kim Mason Megazord and the Jersey Megazord shrink down to a, uh, shrink down to the size of a toy. <laughs> into toy, toy size. So basically, you when you, so basically when Jiru and Takarishi woke up, you know, there was the size of, of, of kids toys. So basically, Jiru was safe in the, in, 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 in matching, in the red, in matching fire's cockpit, but as for Takarishi, you know, he was stuck, he was stuck in, he was stuck inside, he was stuck in, in, in stone pool in, inside, you know, inside the, inside the, uh, the, the 
got in jail, you know, to, you know, pop a hole. So basically, talk me to, um, I'm like Jiro, who is, you know, who is inside, you know, inside the, the right King of Stones cockpit, you know, you know, talk to me to what's, what's, and, you know, it's still a stone form inside, inside, you know, ancient, inside, you know, inside his own, you know, you know, Cargo hole. So anyway, they saw a little boy and his mother, you know, walking by. Turns out they was nearby this grassy hill next to the stone steps. So basically, they saw a boy and his mother walking by. So basically, the the, the boy's mother said that you know, you know, I had to go to work. I had to go to work. So basically, like you know, I want you to take this food. You know, I'll be home soon. The boy was seeing kind of disappointed that you know that her mother that his his mother had to go to work, uh, had to go to work, and he, he was going to be back by himself for, uh, for a while. So anyway, the boy, what the boy, what the, what the boy's mother left, you know, the boy started, it started, it started, the, started you know, Joe, it started the, the, the kid mates, the kid mates, it was, uh, all straight down, and took him home, he figured that, oh, he was thinking that, you know, something, this first he's lucky day, he got some new toys, but, you know, instead of, Joe, so basically, they could have, so basically, Joe and the kid mates, Joe and Takamichi could Said that oh, take care to tell the world about this whole situation. But Jiru said that no, I want to kick him out. So anyway, and the boy just turned him into the into the grocery bag and took him home. And that's when your daughter. That's when ten minutes later, your daughter and the princess is looking for the straight down Kimmy Zoids along with uh, along with uh, along with the two Kimmies, but there was no side of them. So basically, ten minutes later, your daughter showed up with the princess is looking for. Looking for the kid, looking for the the, the, the small Kim Asian Megazord and the small and, and the small uh, sorry I'm a little stuffed up today so sorry give me a moment sorry sorry about that y'all anyway so I think you ever set up with the flip toes is you know at the grassy hill next to the stairs looking for the small Kim Asian Megazord and the small drinking Megazord that was shocking down by, by the Mark Beast Monster but but it was too late the boy already took them so anyway the, so anyway, the boy who took the took the Zord back to, to back to his hideout started to play with them blah 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 and you know Basically, uh, you know, basically enforced him to transform into a Megazord mode, and you know, and he had to clean up the mess, and he just went to sleep after that. After playing, you know, so basically, so, so, uh, you know, for the, for the, for the, you know, for these, these were toys instead of the, the he put these for toy versions of the Kim Major Zords, of the Kim Major Zords, but he didn't realize. That you know, you know, but you know, the, you know, Joe and the other kid made stones and kid and talk to me. Can tell the boy that you know we're not toys, we're the real things. But you know, but Joe say no, he didn't want to freak the boy out. So anyway, so anyway, after when the after you know. So basically, after the boy was done playing with him, he was he had to clean up the mess. After you know, after he was done playing with the playing with you know with the small Kimmy Major and the small Jasper Jitter Megazord. So anyway, so anyway, meanwhile, Mayu uh, Mayu contacted the others and told them that the that the other uh, that. Mm, that the uh, that that mock beach monsters shrank down the Kimmy Megazord and 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 the and the Georgian Megazord. So Becky, Mayu told us about the situation, and he can't find where where Takamichi and Takamichi and Joe and the other Kimmy and the Kimmy Megazord was at. So Becky, he he can't test the object with that. So Becky, uh, on top of that, your daughter was using her. Her, her dark 
change it more first to you know, to try to find where where the kill making where the timing kill making niggas are and and, and you know just and and driller niggas were was at so anyway so the kid niggas went first into it so anyway back at the boys house you know you know the boys went to sleep you know probably went to sleep and Takamichi Takamichi said this is our chance let's get out of here so basically you know so basically but Joe so basically the other kid made stones and and Takamichi was got you know, the, the boy is sleep we sleep and head back to and head back to care headquarters, but but Jimmy was like, yeah, no, I need to talk to the boy first. So basically, yeah, Jimmy, Jimmy, you know, used the uh, used the Kim Asian to 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 talk to the boy, and he had to know, he had to know, he had to know. I see that you're sad, you know, your mother had to work, to, uh, your mother had to work today, you know, what now? What's going on? Why are you so sad? I saw you before. You know, when your mother said she had to go to work. So basically the boy, the boy is afraid that, you know, my mother worked all the time and I always, uh, I always, you know, I always home alone by myself. So basically, like, you know, Jerry said that you should tell your mother that, uh, you should tell your mother that, you know, you know, tell her that, you know, that she, she needs to spend more time with you. And that's when, and that's when his mother came. You tell that his mother came home early. And like, you know, when, when Kate, she said that, you know, oh, my boss sent me home early. So basically, you know, my boss sent me home early. So basically, we could spend some time together. And she saw, and she saw that, you know, and she saw the time, and she saw the kid made the Megazord and the Disney Megazord <laughs> in the toy size, you know, figured that, you know, she, she figured that that her son must have stole these toys and tried to take it away to her, but before, before, before she even, before she even explained what was going on, you know, the mother's tried to smash the, the tiny kill-making Megazord and Disney Megazord right in the boy, and and the boy managed to get them back and wrap out the apartment with them. So anyway, so anyway, meanwhile, your daughter was pretty hard changer, just like, just like, uh, just like Takamichi changer, was way off to, uh, was not capable of finding, and finding any of the kill they stole. So basically, it's kind of that your older daughter was trying to find the kill made in Megazord, and the just Megazord with her dark changer, but, since my card changer uh, is, just it's just not capable of finding Kimmy stones or or any of the Kimmy zones either. So anyway, so basically. So Becky goes on to bump into the other kid majors and like you know and like you know and the kid majors is like you know what you done to what you done to the others and the other drama said that like, ah it doesn't matter anyway so anyway and she just left the area and that's when the mop beast monster showed up and and that's when that's the Taro and Sugar went to try to do their best to deal with the mop beast monster while my Sado and Sada really tried to find Juru and Takamichi and the other kid made desserts. So anyway, so anyway, the boy, so basically the boy's mother caught up with him outside and that's when Takamichi and all the explained the situation and the mother was like, you know, or like, oh, I understand that. Oh, this is kind of weird to understand the situation that was going on. So basically that's when, you know, that's when, you know, Joel took the, and ran, ran back with the kid made the back to, back to care headquarters and, and told my and told my to, to 
to untrick the, the, the kill my arrow with that way that others can use to, to summon, summon the, the graceful Phoenix Negazord. So basically my review says, you know, it turns out it was easy to untrick the kill my arrow. So basically my review says technology to untrick the kill my arrow and, you know, and get, and send it, and send it to Sugar and, uh, and Tom Tom, they summon, they summon them, they summon the graceful Phoenix Megazord and took down and took down and took down the Mark Beast Monster and and they all was turned back to the proper size. So anyway, the boy told so basically, the boy who the boy took you know took the you know, Joe's advice and told him how he feels about her her mother always working all the time and leaving her alone at the house all the time. So basically, like you know, the mother and the boy is like you know, he's just say tonight on I will try to do my best. <laughs> So, my nose is a little stuffed up today. So, anyway, the, the mother told the boy that, you know, I'm going to try to do my best to stay with you, stay at home with you from now on, and, and you won't be alone anymore. So, basically, you know, against the general, like, the boy, but the boy was happy that her mother would try to be, you know, be home more instead of working more. So, anyway, and so, basically, the episode ended with the other CEO. But the others, like, she celebrated, it was glad to see Joe and Takamichi back to the normal size and whatnot. And watching, and, and watching the boy and her mother, you know, hugging out on the bridge. And this how the episode ended with, with the Kim Rangers, you know, looking at the boy that, that helped Takamichi and Joe when they got small and, you know, hugging his mother. And this how the episode ended. So, anyway, this is a good episode. So, so clearly this episode was was just fired by Torster in a way. But you know, this was a good you know, this was a good episode in my opinion for uh, this this episode had a good lesson to it. So basically you need to you need to you need to tell you need to tell people how you feel feel sometimes. So anyway, this was a good episode. So anyway so anyway, what do you guys think about this episode? Was it good? Was it bad? Or was it just okay? Please let me know what the comments below love this podcast. So anyway, this is Teacher Michael from Screen View. Sound off. One.